Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my budget Asha Cardfight Vanguard Neo Nectar standard deck profile for post extra booster the next stage. Following the alt mile budget deck profile, I wanted to focus on an Asha version of the latest deck to be released in standard format that focuses on Asha, the original unit used by Tokoha in the G series. The deck shares a lot of similarities to the original G series deck and being focused on, you know, having units with the same name on the field to get additional abilities, but with the same aspect for the Neo Nectar in standard format, being able to use tokens along with the new Asha's Flower Fairy token for an immensely powerful token on the rear guard circle along with Asha. We're using most of the cards from the trial deck and some other more affordable uh, grade threes, twos, and ones from the extra booster the next stage to make it a more affordable, you know, introduction to the Asha Neo Nectar deck as a whole. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the grade threes, I am running four Ranunculus Flower Maiden Asha. On Vanguard or rear when placed, counterblast one, call up to two plant tokens to rear, and this unit gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn. Now, uh, the tokens are just easy units to call out that have the grade zero, plus 5,000 power, critical one, and have boosts. So making for good grade one rear guards to call out onto the field. And on Vanguard Circle, Asha has the once per turn ability where you can retire three rear guards and call an Asha Flower Fairy token to rear guard which those of you that don't know the Asha's flower fairy is this unit here that you keep outside the deck just like all the other uh, you know uh, tokens that you use in the deck on rear this unit has the same card name as your vanguard with Asha and its card name and on rear when it attacks choose one of your vanguards with Asha and its card name and until the end of that battle increase or decrease this unit's power and critical to match that one until the end of that battle so if you put the imaginary gift force for that power onto Asha and then get the additional critical it can have this Asha's flower fairy gain all that power boost so you can go fully invested into your vanguard attack hoping it hits and if not still have this Asha's flower fairy on the rear guard to rely for that power boost so having Asha as our main go-to grade three while having the additional grade threes we run from the next stage booster set as backup definitely does help and being able to use this Asha on vanguard or rear guard is all the better the only difference is you won't be able to use the Asha flower fairy if you do call this Asha to rear but it does still help for the token setup you can do with this card and your other grade three units but the Asha's flower fairy definitely is the most important part of the deck focusing on your truly powered up tokens that you use all together now for the backup grade threes, I was tied between two grade three units. I was using Cornflower, Flower Maiden, uh, Innis, and also Royal Purple, Flower Maiden, Marjana. Now this can completely be up to the player preference at that point, depending on which one you want to use. Uh, Innis is a Vanguard also ability, while Marjana focuses on Rear Guard, which you do want Asha to be your main Vanguard unit. So having both of these as the options to go into is definitely useful. With Cornflower, Maiden, Innis, Vanguard, or Rear, when placed, Count plus one, soul plus one. Look at five cards on the top of your deck. Call a card from among them to rear and shuffle your deck. If you have another unit with the same card name as that unit called, you draw a card, which definitely makes uh, useful having multiples of a lot of different cards in the deck. And on Vanguard or rear, when your other rear guard is placed by your card's ability, this unit gets plus 5,000 until end of turn. So a more power boost unit on rear also. Having imaginary gift force for both of these along with Asha definitely makes for a good powerhouse uh, combine total. With Marjana on rear, one place to scar a card from your hand, look at three cards at the top of your deck and call a card from among them to rear and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you have another unit with the same card name as that one called until the end of the turn, this unit gets boost and plus 10,000. So it makes good use of calling multiple units. Even if you have to, you know, call another grade two or three, you can at least use Marjana to boost for that power. And this is more of a power boost unit for setup and draw power, but it comes down to player preference. You can go two and two. You have plenty of other units that share the same card names in this deck, but it, like I said, preference at that point. I will always prefer to have Asha on my Vanguard circle, so Marjana comes into play there, but if that situation doesn't always happen, Ennis is another good one to rely on. And that is it for the grade threes. We'll now move on to the grade twos. From the trial deck, I am running four of the new Blossoming Maiden Sella. What's really great about the grade two lineup with these decks is that there wasn't too many pricey grade two options. They focus mostly on the grade threes and ones for the triple rare count and the double rares that we got from the booster set. So the grade twos were a lot more affordable and will be the same when we uh, when I show you the you know more competitive meta-based Asha deck. But for Blossoming Maiden, Sella is definitely needed 
included in either just the budget or the main deck. It's very easy since you get four of them in the trial deck. On rear, if you have a unit with the same card name as your Vanguard on your rear, this unit cannot be retired by card effects and gets plus 5,000 power. So it's a continuous plus 5,000 also. So very, very useful there unless your opponent can get rid of the same card name unit. And on Vanguard or rear, counter blast one and call up to two plant tokens to rear. Plants are grade zero, 5,000 power, critical one, and have boost, just like all the other plant tokens we've shown so far. But with these units, uh, this one is great for setup, just for more and more plant tokens, since you have to retire three units with Asha to get the Asha token. You want to have resources that you didn't invest from your hand, ones that you can save more from your hand to use on the field as well. So Sela helps for that setup, just using a counter blast with all your other units, just being a counter blast or a soul blast to use their additional abilities also. And I also run four Maiden of Fine Ale. This is from the new Next Stage Booster Pack. Now you can run four of this or four of the next copy card. You just want to have good numbers of all your cards so you can have multiple units also to call out and gain additional abilities. On rear, you counter plus one, retire this unit, look at three cards from the top of your deck, call up to two cards from among them to rear, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Now Maiden of Fine Ale is great for that setup for the fact that if you already have other units on the field, when you call the top cards your deck using your Maiden of Fine Ale, you can see what units you already have on the field and which ones you need to call out to have the same number of units. Or just that easy setup with this card, being able to call two cards from one, makes up for the retire effects you'll use for Asha, or just, you know, the power boost cards when you have Ennis on the field to get power boost whenever one of your rear guards is placed by a card effect. Working very, very easily with Maiden of Fine Ale for just a counter blast one and retiring this unit. And lastly, for the grade twos, like if you want, like I said, if you wanted to run three Maiden of Fine Ale, you can up the number of Osmanthus Maiden Anelma that we run on Vanguard or Rear. One place, Counter Blast One, Soul Blast One, draw a card and call up to one plant token, having the same power stats as all the other plant token cards we've called so far. And on Rear, if you have a Rear Guard with your uh, Rear Guard with the, if you have a car, a Rear Guard on your Rear Guard Circle with the same card name as your Grade Three or Grade Vanguard, all your units get boost. So this is your setup card for the boost power, being able to boost with your grade threes and twos along with the other setup that we've already spoke of in the deck with your Marjana for your Vanguard setup. So being able to rely on Osmanthus Maiden Anelma for that power boost and the token setup on Vanguard makes for a good ride target, which is just the one reason I may run four, but you also have uh, Sela for that setup, depending on what you want to use them for. <coughs> Excuse me, been talking so much through these deck profiles, definitely does catch up on you. But also having the setup for more than one ride target for these cards makes it all the better as well. So if you want to run four, you could just take out the one Maiden of Fine Ale and put in a fourth copy for Analma into the deck. But other than that, like I said, the grade two lineup won't change much from this budget deck compared to the actual meta because there aren't too many high rarity grade twos from the trial deck and the actual booster set that are that expensive. For the grade ones, I'm running four Maiden of Sweet Berry on Vanguard or rear when placed, call up to one plant token to rear. And if your Vanguard is grade three or greater, use Soul Charge one, building up soul power for some other cards, but also on rear during your turn, if your Vanguard is grade three or greater, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. That power boost can definitely come in handy when just attacking some other uh, units or just when this unit has to boost so definitely for this card it's only a rare which is insane as well being a great vanguard or rear guard you know target whether you call it to rear or ride it as a vanguard circle giving you that plant token for no cost at all makes it so you can have those cards early game giving this card a boost and then just having more and more power units to rely on also putting the token in the front then having to boost with made in a sweet berry to keep it safe in the back row as a 13k booster and I also run four Budding Maiden Diane. With this one on Vanguard or Rear, when placed, discard a card from your hand, draw a card, and one of your grade three Vanguards gets plus 5,000 until end of turn. So just that power boost, another good ride target on Vanguard. It won't get the plus three since you're not on a Vanguard, you know, th grade three ride when you ride this card, but still an option for the power boost altogether using this card when placing it just to get more consistency on the draws you want to get also. So definitely four of it was also available in the trial deck, so that much easier to get access to. And I also run four Maiden of Dream, actually not four, I'm running, I decided to split the numbers with this in the last grade one 
So we have multiple same name cards to call out on rear guard when placed. If your vanguard is great, the rear greater. Count plus one and all your tokens on your rear. Get plus 10,000 power until end of turn. So this card may be a 7k, but it still makes up for the counter blast of boosting up all the other token units as long as you have your token set up on the field ready to use. I like running three of this because I'm also running three of the Blowball Squire. Uh, with this card, Blowball Squire on rear when placed. If you have no plant tokens, call up the two plant tokens to rear. So if you end up having to ride Dream Shower, you can then call uh, Blowball Squire, giving you two plant tokens, making up for the fact that you didn't open up Maiden of Sweetberry or just having Diane for the draw power on your Vanguard but not having any tokens to set up early game. The great situation if you don't end up opening up Maiden of Sweetberry, which will happen since it's your only other grade one that helps for token setup. And that's it for the grade ones. We'll now move on to the grade zeros. Our starter being the new spring heralding Maiden Ozu. When wrote upon, draw a card. If your opponent's vanguard is grade one or greater, put a quick shield ticket into your hand, which the quick shields are one of your attack units gets plus uh, 5,000 power until that end of battle. A great way to defend against your opponent's attacks. If you went second, since your opponent will be attacking with a grade three most of the time, you want a good defense option. That one additional card against your opponent definitely will come in handy. So having Ozu as that option, all of these starters will be added soon with that text but just nice to have this as an added option also and then for the trigger units i'm running four flower maiden millis this is the sentinel card in the deck as well i didn't really want to run draw triggers i wanted more of the options to call out units and then have immense pressure with our trigger lineup so flower garden maiden millis helps with that being the sentinel power with 30,000 shield and then also running the other uh, critical triggers I'm running four Knight Queen Musketeer Daniel just you know it could be any tr uh, critical trigger you want for the setup I'm also running two Capsi Psy critical trigger and two Chestnut Bullet now this just with the different amount of criticals you're running keeps your opponent guessing on what trigger lineup you may have in the deck having these different numbers you know they don't know how many of each one you've gone through when you're playing so very useful to keep them guessing and lastly the four of the newest heal the fairy light dragon just you know tokoha's uh you know heal trigger she used during the g series focusing on this one instead of uh, i believe flower maiden might have been the other heal but i would say definitely more fitting for the asha deck also but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm definitely going to be working on the more uh, meta-based Asha deck in the upcoming videos. So look forward to that. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.